all you beautiful people piling in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott from... <laughs> I'll get it right one of these times. N5D.com. I keep pointing over here because it looks like it's over there. But everything's backwards, just like it is you know, in, in this matrix. <laughs> everything's upside down and backwards. I'm surprised this isn't, <laughs> this isn't upside down either. Crazy. So while people are filing in, I um, just want to give a shout out to all my Patreon people. Um, and just a reminder, I'll be raffling this titanium E-Force pendant on 7-7. So, um, and I saw my Patreon subscribers and uh, that'll be coming up here in a couple weeks or so. So, you know, if you want to get in on it, I think right now we have like 71 people. You got a one in 71 chance right now if you're already in it. So pretty cool. Um, quick shout out to everyone that's here. Wow. Uh, Linda, Rachel, Lillian, Linda, Russell, Janessa, Estelle. Oh my gosh, I'm already so far behind. <laughs> it's amazing how fast this thing this thing goes. And I'm not sure if I'm scrolling the right way or not. Um, also, just to get the word out, share this right now um, on your, your Facebook page. And let's get the word out there. Um, if you haven't shared it already. And if you have, thank you. And I'm going to try to pay attention to what's going on in the chat. When I'm looking at it, it's over here on my right-hand side. And uh, I try to pay attention, but gosh, I, you know, sometimes it moves so quickly, and well, most of the time it does. <laughs> and uh, a lot of times I end up missing questions and stuff. So if you have any questions, give me a shout. Okay. Okay. Um, just an update on the email. Um, everything's working on the email. So, you know, with a uh, Facebook shadow banning all of us, <laughs> basically, it's not just me and in 5D, it's like everyone. Um, I recommend that you sign up for the in 5D uh, email subscription and you have your choice. You can get it either a daily so you don't miss anything every day, or you can get it every Monday. I have a weekly one as well. So sign up for it and you won't miss a thing, okay? Yummy. And another thing, uh, <laughs> Amber Essence says, surfing the wave, heck yeah. Another thing is, um, you know, there's, we. On N5D, I posted an article on ascension symptoms, and one of them, it's really strange. You know, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I found that in, I don't know, the last month or so, maybe a couple months, that I've put weight on unexplainably. Um, are you guys experiencing that? You know, it doesn't seem like you're eating anything extra. It's kind of like the... You know, it's understandable during like Thanksgiving and Christmas here in the United States. You know, we end up eating a little bit more than what we normally do and a lot of sweets and stuff like that. But, you know, for the most part, I usually I'm pretty good at watching what I eat and uh, been putting weight on. And I decided, OK, it's time to go on a diet. And I lost 11 pounds in seven days which is really cool. And I'll be, I've been documenting it and I'll be writing a little bit more about it as, um, as this goes on, but to put on that weight, I just found was really interesting. And I don't know if you guys have been going through the same thing or not. So let me know in the chat. Uh, gosh, I think I'm caught up here on the chat. Um, oh, okay. Oh, and now I am. Oh my gosh. I was already way behind. Yeah. We're, we're getting, um, affirmations on that. Yeah. So let's see. 
Michael, Daniel, curious about energies that are possibly leading us to get our affairs in order. Definitely. Um, that's part of all the, the truth vibration that's coming in, uh, Michael. And um, what what's happening is there, there's a lot of purging going on. So um, it's, in essence, kind of forcing us to get our affairs in order. Um, so if, if you're going through that, realize that it's all part of the process and it's it's a blessing. So yeah, uh, Stacy saying yes to the the weight thing and Mary and Ani. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. French fries is my weak and weakness. Larry Lockin. How you doing, brother? Haven't seen you in a while. You okay? Uh, Latriza. Uh, Jody saying very tired. Another one, Trisha. Yeah. Unexplained itchiness from Wynn DeGal. I haven't heard that one, um, but it wouldn't surprise me either. <laughs> and Kayla Ta is making a good point. It is the start of winter in Australia. I'm sorry. It's Here we are approaching the summer solstice in six days, which if this recent wave that went through is any kind of precursor, this is going to be a doozy. <laughs> Looking forward to that. So, yeah, a lot of people are commenting about the weight thing. Uh, inexplicably gaining weight for no reason whatsoever. Um, and it makes you wonder if it is, uh, has if it does have something to do with ascension symptoms. Um, the need to have that extra what is what is fat fat is energy it's extra energy that you're carrying so i wonder if that has something to do with it congratulations catherine who just had a baby and she's losing weight and debbie porter lost eight pounds Kelly mosher starting a five-day fast um and that's what happened um initially I uh, started a, a diet with, with Michelle Walling, and uh, we both drank vegetable broth for the first two days, homemade vegetable broth, all organic. And um, she didn't have the same experience as I did, but it just went right through me. Uh, it might be too much information, <laughs> but uh, it cleaned me out big time. And then from that point forward, you know, I've been basically doing um, no bread, no dairy, and what else? Oh, no sweets. Um, it's a lot easier for guys to do no sweets than it is for women, just the way it is. I could, you know, if I never had another piece of candy for the rest of my life or a piece of cake, I'm okay with that. Woman would probably say, that's heresy. <laughs> And I understand, you know, um, it seems like the different sexes have different cravings, you know, so um, that doesn't mean I don't like a, a good organic chocolate chip cookie now and then. Um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about food because it's going to make us all hungry. <laughs> okay, let me see, check out some of these comments here that are flying by me. <laughs> Gemini supermoon really affecting me. May have to move. Oh my. <laughs> That's from Valerie. Okay. Um, are we, Carrie Parker's asking, are we gaining weight in order to keep us more grounded? That's that's a great point too. I see it more energetically, you know, as the weight being energy, basically. Um, but to yeah, you know what's happening too is a lot of people are eating those grounding foods. I mean, think about what what's the best kind of food you can have? You know, something that comes from the ground or even in the ground like potatoes. I mean, that's probably the number one grounding food for a lot of people when it comes to um, having some kind of craving for something to eat that's that's grounding. And yeah, that the potatoes, you know, all depending on what you put on it, a little sour cream, a little butter, <laughs> you know. That crap can add up, and what is it basically? Just starch, you know. So no, no potatoes for me. So at least not while I'm on this diet. And the thing I always recommend, you know, if you're going to do a diet, 
it's okay to jump off every now and then. If you want to go out and have a decent meal at a restaurant or even if you're cooking at home or whatever, it's okay to break the diet for a meal or even for a day. But, you know, as long as you get back on it, you know, don't don't make this into, you know, punishment for you. You know, enjoy life because that's part of why we're here. And anyway, this is just a shell, really. So, you know, if we were to see our true divine spark that's inside of everyone, everyone would see everyone as being incredibly beautiful, just like we are to each other. Our, Belinda's saying our meat suits are filling up with organic light. I agree. It's cool. And you can see how far behind I am already. <laughs> Look at all you people. It's Friday night, and we have like over 100 people here <laughs> joining me. It's 8.19 uh, p.m. Um, like 30 years ago, you wouldn't, this would be the last place I would be is online. Of course, 30 years ago, I don't even think I had a computer. Maybe I did. Oh, gosh. Was there computers 30 years ago? <laughs> My daughter's 20, turns 24 next month. And I got my computer a little before. I had a computer a little before her. So, yeah, 30 years ago, I didn't even have a computer. And 30 years ago, I was 57, or 30, not 57, 27. <laughs> um, gosh, yeah, I was playing lead and rhythm guitar in a band in Pennsylvania, Scranton, Pennsylvania, in a hard rock band. So chances are I was <laughs> not anywhere near a computer or <laughs> probably doing anything spiritual at that time, just the way it is, part of my life experience. But, uh, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of us have some crazy stories we could tell <laughs> from our youth that how we were and where we are now. It's an amazing journey. A lot of people, yeah, sweet potatoes are amazing energy and super food healthy. That's that's good to know, Carolyn. Thank you. I'm just talking like regular potatoes. <laughs> I'm not crazy about sweet potatoes. I'll eat them. They're kind of like peas. I'll eat them. I'm not crazy about them. Of course, I'm horrible on vegetables. Ugh. Everybody in my family likes veggies except me. I'm the freak. And when it comes, like it's easier, it's easy for me to say what vegetables, cooked vegetables, I I don't like than it is, or rather, what cooked vegetables I do like than it is to say the ones I don't like. Cooked vegetables, carrots, green beans. That's it. I'll eat salad vegetables though, like celery, lettuce. It's got to be iceberg. Romaine is just like too leafy. I know, and it's not as healthy. I know. So yeah, celery, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, stuff like that. And I will eat coleslaw, but I don't, I don't like cabbage outside of coleslaw. Picky eater, very picky. Roxana saying, I'm more fluffy. Maybe we will burn it off when we ascend. It's preparing us. Heck yeah, love that. Great attitude. And Candace is juicing with kale, spinach, apple, avocado, kiwi, orange, and banana. Wow, kicks the weight off massively. I wonder what part of that specifically kicks the weight off. Probably the, the leafy stuff, the spinach. <laughs> I'm sorry. Probably in a smoothie like that, though, would be good. Or kale, yeah. Once again, you can see how far behind I am on the chat. But I'm trying to keep up. Moringa, I'm not familiar with that, Carolyn. Moringa gives tons of energy superfood. I'll have to look into that. Donna saying she went on a ravages hunger and, and gained weight. And I fasted for three, three days, and now I'm doing intermittent fasting and feeling better and lost a few pounds. That's always a great idea to fast anyway, just to clean out the system. So I like what you're doing. Donna. 
Larry Lockin, Rockin' Larry Lockin is asking, Greg, how vital is it for our 3D vessels to be in shape to be able to carry out our mission? I mean, our mind wants to do things, but sometimes our body vessels are dragging. Stay in as good of shape as you can. Uh, you know, there's a lot of temptations out there, you, you know, um, alcohol, yeah, drugs, and stuff like that. But um, my recommend recommendation is to moderation in anything. And I'm not advocating drinking. I'm not advocating doing drugs or anything like that. You know, you, you know most of the people I'm talking to here are adults. And uh, you know what's right. You know what's wrong. Um, I don't particularly <laughs> partake in drugs unless it's tripping. <laughs> But um, and drinking once in once in blue moon, yeah, I I, I enjoy Jack Daniel's honey. <laughs> that, that's my if I'm going to drink anything, it's Jack Daniel's honey. But I haven't had that in a couple weeks or so. Um, but like I said, anything in moderation, um, and ultimately, I think more so than anything is being prepared spiritually. You know, not that everything else isn't as important, but, you know, having your mind clear. And one thing people have to look out for, too, and I've mentioned this in a previous video, is that one place where these entities like hanging out are at bars above the entrance in a bar. So um, they're in there and they're watching you guys, us guys, everyone. When you go into that bar, they know who's cocked and who's not. And when you're leaving, there's, it's like a vortex opens up and it allows entities to enter. So you gotta be really careful. And that's why it's so important not to get totally inebriated. Cocktail here, here and there, sure, why not? Um, but yeah, just be careful. <laughs> Skylar, you, you look amazing for your age. <laughs> yeah, I'm 74. <laughs> I don't look a day over 60. <laughs> just kidding Amber Essence is saying we're upgrading our human vehicles to shift through multi-dimensions heck yeah that we are doing and Angela once again I'm so far behind I, I know Angela Scullin is asking how's your sleep pattern some nights I'm wide awake and watching the sky are you sleeping out outside on the ground watching the sky probably just looking out your window okay I get it um, yeah it's all over the place um, I know that like earlier today um, I took a nap and uh, I'll be in bed early and the same thing happened yesterday I was in bed by I think 10 o'clock I napped at least once I might have napped twice yesterday and was still in bed by 10 o'clock so yeah oh, thank you for all the compliments that's interesting, Belinda. Uh, can't Belinda Spence says, can't sleep but never tired. Wow, you're just like living off the prana, and that's awesome. So Larry's saying he's a vegetarian who can only stand a few vegetables. The ones you mentioned, I hate romaine lettuce as well, yeah. <laughs> yes, Camille, iceberg lettuce is just water, but it's also roughage too so that's important it helps push all that crap out literally <laughs> connie said she just put a big old bite of sweet potato in her mouth that's funny isn't it funny how certain things you know you might be doing something and these synchronicities just happen like we're talking about sweet potatoes and here connie's eating sweet potato as as we're talking about it so Got to scroll down a little faster. I hope I don't miss too much. Taking silica helps with building the building of crystalline body. I've been taking silica since I started my diet, and I take it twice a day. So, yeah, let's, let's hope so. Thank you, Amber. Ah, and Kathy Blakely saying, I'm sitting here eating fries <laughs> and feeling guilty now. Don't feel guilty. Enjoy it. Have a couple for us. Put some cheese on it and some uh, ranch dressing. 
What's that sound? It's my stomach. Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> I'm love, loving these comments here. I, I love how you guys are like just like chatting away and interacting with each other. It makes me happy. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure how this question's phrased. I think she means, do you believe in some people, do you believe that some people have a healing aura? I think what you're asking is if you're within somebody's energy field, can it heal others? I guess possibly, but you know, there, there's that non-interference, you know, and free will and stuff like that that goes on. It'd probably be more in alignment with um, some kind of agreement that both parties would have to have beforehand. Okay. Carolyn is saying, I feel at the end of this month, we will be able to manifest very fast and with more precision. I don't know. What do you feel? Also after October. Well, that's interesting because, you know, this month we're, here we are in the solstice and October would be the equinox. Well, shortly after the equinox in September. So these are major points of us being able to um, create and manifest. So um, it's and it's happening more and more every day as we um, journey further in out of 3D and into 4D. Our ability to manifest is going quicker and quicker and quicker. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, Diana Beaumont is saying, "I feel I've gone through. I have gone through a shift in the past week. I'm having breakthroughs and having energy to, to do my artwork, which focuses on energy coming through the body. That's awesome! Congratulations. Get creative. Make some beautiful art. High vibrational art." So I'm way behind. I'm going to have to scroll fast. And I know I'm going to miss some stuff here in the meanwhile. I apologize. Oh, Mary Murphy says, says, I had a baked potato today with butter and sour cream. Yummy. <laughs> Debbie Porter, how do you keep, keep your teeth so white? I have an amazing orthodontist in Cancun. Michelle saying, um, in regard to the alcohol, um, so true, clear mind. It's uh, alcohol is very hard to assimilate than it used to be, which is okay. Our light bodies don't need all the, all the density of many foods and booze. A lot of stuff, um, you know, a lot of stuff that we eat, especially like the starches, or if you're going to drink and you have a, a mixer with it, you know, once again, starches turn to sugar, and you have the sugar in the mixed drinks. And, We'll get through this. <laughs> Your shirt is the same color as a sweet potato. You guys are killing me. <laughs> That's funny, Amber. So Kay is eating real cherries. Good for her. Yeah, something healthy. Yay. You zeolite. I've never heard of zeolite. What is that? To clean heavy metals. I would like to do that. I'd give it a shot. Uh, Angela's asking, are you going to go on Shane's YouTube channel soon, Greg? Unbiased and on the fence. You guys would be fantastic. He sent me an email. I haven't answered him yet. And I have another one request um, also um, for several shows. And because I'm such an introvert, um, it's I'll get back to everyone. But... You know, I, 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 it's hard for me to put myself out there. It's hard enough just to do this by myself. <laughs> but yeah, I will do. I will do this show. I definitely will. Uh, Crystal Dawn, your title, huge wave, drew me in. But I think I came in after you discussed the wave. You are referring to no, you haven't. You haven't missed a thing yet. I'm just checking out the. Uh, 
the comments. So, and I'm just going to move on. Um, so, uh, one thing I wanted to mention before we get to the wave, um, this is really interesting uh, with the volcano activity that's going on in Hawaii. They're discovering that the magnetics in the lava has reversed. So we're actually going through, we're in the midst of a magnetic pole reversal right now. Um, I thought that was really interesting. Of course, I have a little compass here and uh, I was checking my compass to see, you know, how, how are we doing here in Florida? And nothing's changed. But you can tell with the magnetics of lava every time a volcano erupts and you study the magnetics, they're going to be directed in one particular way and now they have reversed. So we are in the process of a magnetic pole reversal. That's completely different from a physical pole reversal, which means everything shifts like that. But this is just the magnetics that are shifting right now. Um, I wouldn't uh, live in fear over it. I live right on the water on the Gulf of Mexico. I'm, I have no plans of going anywhere. They were saying, I, I understand your introvertedness. Don't be scared of letting your light shine. It's, you should be the voice of late night, not George Snorri real talk. <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. Late night introvert radio with Greg Prescott. Yeah, I can see that happening. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, got that covered. So yeah, okay, the wave that came through. Uh, let's get to that because I've been drinking a lot of water and I need some more right now. And um, it's not going to be too much longer of a video without the water I've drank today. So uh, several days ago, this wave went through. And uh, the beginnings of it, you can see, and you can see this on the Schumann resonance chart um, on that Russian website. So this was the a couple days ago right here. And this was yesterday. You see that? That big white, white out <laughs> right there. If you go to that Russian website and you see these big blotches of white, that's when a wave is going through. And it lines up exactly with how we are feeling. Um, and even though the, the actual number on the Schumann resonance may not fluctuate drastically, it may only go up, you know, 0.3 or something, 0.10 or something. This is the telling story of what we're feeling. And whenever you see those, those um, big white spots on the Schumann resonance and I'll put a link here in the video and um, so when people are, are going back listening the link will be embedded right here as as I'm speaking where you can check that out every day but that's that's what what's happening is these when these waves are going through you know when I, I didn't know this until Michelle told me this uh, I think earlier today um, she mentioned that and uh, we both knew that a wave had gone through yesterday without having to even look at that, but that's just additional confirmation. So if you're gonna, you know, if, you, if you're going through these, these, uh, you know, ascension waves, um, and you're feeling that, that energy coming in to me, it's almost like a warm energy that covers my body. And I, I just, within like several minutes, I have to go to sleep and feel for those who are at work that are experiencing that you know it's not like you have a, a bed you can crawl into um, but you know, you know when it's coming through and just be cognizant of what's going on and this is all in our own best interest humanity's best interest that these waves are coming in this is our confirmation that we're the shift is on on the way it's, it's underway rather and it's all happening right now it's really exciting so what, are, what, what have you guys been feeling? Are you guys feeling that? Um, have you felt tired in the last two, three days, especially yesterday when this went through? Is that upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. Yeah. 
No, it isn't. That's for a setup. <laughs> Everything's upside down and backwards, right? But that's the what happened yesterday. What did you guys feel yesterday? Did you guys feel that energy go through? Did you feel tired? Um, was anybody conversely? I mean, some people get the exact opposite. Some people are just amped up, um, which is equally as good. Um, and Adriana is saying many people around have headaches. That's interesting. Candace is saying, yes, tired. Um, it's my friend, Jenny. Hi, Jin Jin. Um, felt good yesterday. Betsy saying, I felt good yesterday in a big way and today too. These electrical waves are kind of like the Northern Lights, right? I guess they could be. Um, except we're getting immersed physically in these waves where the northern lights are just kind of like up and above and just looking all pretty and happy <laughs> but yeah that's another thing about this you know i feel personally i feel great just tired um i know that you know like tonight i, I went I, i've been going i go on a walk every night uh and every morning as part of my dieting regimen. And uh, oh my gosh, I saw this boat that was docked and um, before low tide actually came in, they had thrown an anchor out and then low tide came in and the boat tipped over and it's like a quarter buried in sand right now. It's a beautiful boat too. You know, I, <laughs> I posted that on my personal Facebook page. I can't believe that guy actually did that. But, um, yeah, you and what what you know? I, I've been doing it like a, <laughs> trying to make my point here uh, about the energy. Yeah. Um, so what's happening is I'll go for a walk and I have a ton of energy for the walk. It feels great, um, especially after having a nap, of course, in the afternoon. But um, in the morning, I feel great when I'm going on the walk. I do have a lot of energy that's um, that I feel within me, but. Despite that, you know, all of a sudden these waves will just come and bam. There's nothing you can do except say, okay, I have to listen to my body. I have to go to sleep. I have to take a nap. So um, if you have that opportunity, you know, here we have a, the weekend coming up. And I know, you know, a lot of people do, you know, they, they work the, the nine to five, Monday through Friday. And, and the weekend comes around and you're thinking, oh my gosh. You know, I, I don't want to. I don't want to nap because I'm wasting my weekend. But you're going to be doing something beneficial for yourself, and uh, I think that um, overall you won't regret it. Always listen to your body. And uh, more people are saying huge headaches. Interesting. That I haven't experienced, and I'm glad that you guys are reporting on that. This is important that we all keep in touch with one another about what we're experiencing. Um, Mary Jane saying she's really thirsty, headaches, wow. extreme dizziness. Yeah, a lot of us went through uh, vertigo um, a while back and uh, completely know how you feel and what you're going through. Uh, Gerald saying, I've had been feeling overwhelming waves of fatigue. Oh, no, it's going away. I can't scroll back. Oh, no. <laughs> I missed it. It's going by too quickly for me. Um, oh, my gosh. I'm once again so far behind. <laughs> Lots of people are itchy, too. Interesting. I wonder what's going on with the itchy thing. Are we shedding the, the meat suit? <laughs> Interesting. here and I know that I'll miss there are going to be comments I miss and I'll do a afterthoughts uh, video on 
all the comments I'm missing right now. So bear with me. Chastity saying, I felt shifts of floating and moving really fast. The things around me are slow motion. It's really interesting because uh, Michelle was talking about how she was watching a Lady Gaga commercial or video and she was moving almost like unusually slow. And then she saw another video of this dude that was in traffic and he was doing the same slow motion thing. I wonder if some of these are background people that are just breaking down. Um, that's a little different than what you're saying there. You just feel like, you know, Chastity saying that she feels like things around her are in slow motion. That's, that's really interesting. Oh my gosh. I, w I wonder if all this, the talk of itching is going to make us want to scratch. <laughs> uh, Amber saying the ears were blocked, then ringing, then ringing, itching connected with the recall of the nervous system, the recal, recalibration of the nervous system. Interesting. That might explain it. The recalibration of the nervous system is causing the itching. Yeah, I've had, I still have the, the leaky ear thing going on. Don't know how, why, or what. I noticed that, though, when I'm outside in nature, if I'm at the beach, my ears are as dry as a bone. But when I'm inside, that's when it happens. So initially I thought, well, maybe it's a food allergy or something like that. But it wasn't a food allergy. It was just who knows what. It could be um, some, some kind of ascension symptom because I brought that up way back in the day when I first started seeing it, I don't know, six, seven, eight months ago, a lot of other people said they had it too. So I just wonder for those people that have had the leaky ear thing going on, do you find that it goes away in nature when you're outside? Is it just indoors? Is it the result of perhaps EMFs or, um, you know, just Wi-Fi, you know, they're trying to bring in the, this, bigger and badder Wi-Fi and it's horrible and hopefully we don't end up getting that. Carolyn's saying chest stabs anxiety. I, I've actually had that, that, that like kind of like brief dull chest pain. And that's, I think that has a lot to do with the heart chakra, um, you know, being worked on and doing work. So, um, of course, you know, if you think it's something more, I'm not going to say don't go see your physician, but for a lot of us um, that are experiencing that, it has a lot to do with the clearing of the heart chakra. Jill Jacobson is saying people are, have been acting nuts, mood swings, big time, very low energy, hard time sleeping, can't drink enough water. Don't want to eat. Nothing sounds good. <laughs> well, I think cheese fries sound good, but I can't have them. <laughs> My dietician said ice cream's good, but. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wish. <clears throat> Aurora is bringing up an interesting point. Uh, she said her eye color has always been brown with a slight reddish tint. In the sun, my eyes match my hair, blondish, reddish brown. My eyes are now are green, have, have green in them. And my, my eyes have done the same thing, Aurora. Um, my eyes used to be dark brown, and now they're like hazel and, or green, depending on you know, the, the day and the mood. Um, are you guys experiencing that? I actually have the photo difference, the before of me when I was younger and after, and my eyes have lit, lightened up significantly, many shades. Um, so are you guys seeing a change in eye color? I found that really uh, to be really interesting. That's a great point, Aurora. Thank you for bringing that up. 
Nick laugh a lot. What about explosive anger? Like these people are being nasty. I don't feel like them, but it does feel like they want to work with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just wonder about some of these people too. It, um, it seems that, that, you know, those that are, have made the choice to go down swinging. Um, they know that they're probably not going to be part of the ascension process. So they're trying to take as many people with them. That's why you don't want to watch the, like the, the mainstream media, anything on the, the six o'clock news or read the newspapers. You know, it's just a bunch of crap on there. You, you will never feel good watching the six o'clock news, plain and simple, never. Um, so yeah, it's just a lot of people, you know, I think they're, maybe on a higher level, they agreed not to be part of the shift to play. Maybe uh, they, they agreed to play the antagonist and still be part of the shift. Um, the thing is, you just got to stay within and go within, keep, keep it within your own game. Okay. Um, so, you know, don't worry overly too much about what other people are doing and how they're trying to affect you. Um, realize that really none of this is real to begin with. And we're all just basically co-creating what we want to see for the future that's already been created. Uh, we're just re-remembering re re that we've done this before. Uh, Debbie saying yes to the leaky ear. Interesting. Belinda's saying that the matrix is breaking down. I see people's programs easier. Yeah, and a lot of us will. You know, with the truth vibration that just keeps rising as Pluto continues to move through Capricorn, those people that have been not working in humanity's best interest, they're, they're really breaking down. And you're going to see that in their health and in their behavior, their actions. It's going to stick out like a sore thumb. So be sure that, you know, you just stay grounded. It's going to be really interesting watching the world around us <laughs> try to operate. And, uh, you know, some of the people that are not awakened, we have to be there for them to help them through this too. So uh, tr try to work through this with love and compassion. Okay. <laughs> Kath Kathy Blakely. Now I want ice cream. Yeah, me too. You know what I want? It's a Dairy Queen chocolate shake with a banana in it. That sounds really good. But I'll drink water instead. Tori Liz is saying, does anyone notice people staring a lot? Yeah. Um, there's where I live is um, very transient. And there was a family that was on the vacation, having their vacation here on Siesta Key. And they were at the same beach I'm at. So there's a little girl, she's probably three years old. She would just stop and stare at me and smile and just stare at me right in the eyes. Her name's Haley. And uh, Michelle saw it. She was with me one time. Um, and she just walked by and started staring at me. I just wave to her and say, hi, how you doing? And she just smiled back, but stare right into the eyes. And this family was here for about a week or so. And I saw her another time, like the day before I saw her, I'm sitting on the beach, I'm playing guitar. And she walks by and she stops and she's staring at me. And then she starts bopping up and down. She's like almost dancing to the music, but she's just, while she's doing that, continuously staring me in the eyes. And she did this two other times while she was here. There's something, it was like, and I know that I'm a child magnet. Um, kids are just innately drawn to me. I don't know if they see my aura or if there's, some, if there's something in my eyes that they're seeing or if they're just saying, hey, Greg, I'm here. I made it. <laughs> see, it wouldn't surprise me if, uh, you know, we end up going to the 5D Earth and some woman walks up to me. She goes, remember me? I was on the beach. And, oh, my God. That was only like three months ago. <laughs> Well, in 5D, I'm a grown-up woman now, so who knows? But, um, yeah, I, I, I do notice that people, I think people are, especially the empaths, 
they may be drawn to your energy and will stare and try to figure out what is up with that person. There's something different about that person. It could just be the energy that you radiate that make people stare at you. So, yeah, I think it's a good thing if that's happening. Once again, I'm so far behind. Robin says, I get stares from kids and feel invisible to most adults. Yeah. Did you ever walk through a grocery store and feel like nobody sees you in there because you look in everybody else's cart and they have crap <laughs> and like yours has lots of healthy stuff in there. And yeah, you feel like, uh, what am I doing here? And you look at people and their, their eyes are glazed over and they're almost like walking zombies, maybe background people. You got a question at some point, how much of this is real? So yeah, Belinda Spence has that. Um, she's a child magnet. My daughter, Brittany is uh, the same way. We children just gravitate to my daughter and me and something about the energy. Maybe they, they see the inner child, you know, and, and it's tough, you know, in, in today's society, it's like, you know, you can't really go out and, you know, I don't know, ask the child, hey, you want to play ball <laughs> or something like that without looking like you're crazy. And it's unfortunate and it's sad, but it's not going to be that way on the new earth. You know, it's all about love and all the children are safe. So I think I'm going to wrap it up there um, because my bladder is full of water. <laughs> I just want to remind people, um, yeah, we'll be raffling this off on July 7th. It's a titanium flower of life pendant, E-Force. And uh, yeah, to all my Patreon, Patreon subscribers, thank you so much for uh, being there and um, supporting me on Patreon. Um, I just want to remind people, too, um, that you know if you came in late to be sure to subscribe to the in 5d email due to shadow banning um, i can post on in 5d and we have like four hundred and thirty thousand followers on in 5d but any given article only reaches about one to three thousand of them so that's how bad facebook is holding back in 5d so um, if you want to get the information number one share <laughs> help share the information on your own personal um, Facebook pages. That'll help get the word out or, and or um, subscribe to our either weekly or um, monthly newsletter. And that way you won't miss a thing. So I think I'm going to leave it off at that. I, I think I'm, well, gosh, I'm way behind again. I'm just going to have to get, go through this and do a subsequent video on afterthoughts and try to answer everything that I missed. So until then, Enjoy the wave, enjoy the ride. Um, we're in the midst of something monumental right now and um, be cognizant of what's going on, not only outside of you, but within you. Until the next time, namaste everyone.